For this video, what I want to do is talk to you about the two AND probability rules. The first probability rule that we use for AND is when we have independent events. An independent event means that the probability of the second event does not change given that the first event has already occurred. Okay, so if you have two events that are independent of each other, then you're going to use the rule the probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. Dependent events means that the probability of the second event changes given that the first event already has occurred. So to find this one, we use probability of A and B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B given that A has already occurred. So just to d demonstrate both of these probability rules, I have a situation here where we have five red marbles, six blue marbles, and nine green marbles in a bag. We're going to find the probability of selecting two marbles with the given conditions. Okay, so for the first one, what we have is we are going to be selecting a red marble and then a green marble with replacement. So in order to find the probability, we need to know the total number of marbles. So if we count this up, 5 plus 6 gives us 11, and 11 plus 9 gives us 20. So we have a total of 20 marbles in the bag. So remember that the probability of an event, and I just spelled that completely wrong. So I have 20 marbles in the bag. And to find the probability of an event, we just take what we are looking for divided by the total. Okay, so for the first one, we are looking for the probability of red and then green. And this tells us that we are going to do this with replacement. With replacement means that we're going to look at the marble and then we're going to put it back into the bag, shake it up, and then select a different marble. Okay, so for the first one, the probability of selecting a red one, we know that there are five out of 20 in the bag that are red. Times, I've now looked at the marble, I saw the first marble was red, I looked at it and then I put it back in the bag, shook it up and I selected a second marble. So I still have 20 marbles in the bag. Okay, and so the probability of selecting a green one is nine out of 20. So now what we need to do is just multiply the two probabilities together and simplify. I prefer to simplify before multiplying, so I know that 5 over 20 reduces to 1 over 4. And then I can just multiply across the top. 1 times 9 gives me 9. 4 times 20 gives me 80. So there's a 9 out of 80 chance of selecting a red marble followed by a green marble. Sometimes it makes more sense for us to convert this into a decimal or a percent. So if you divide 9 by 80, you get 0.1125 or 11.25%. Okay, so both of these are also acceptable ways of writing probabilities. It really just depends on the publisher that you're using or the situation that you are in. All right, so now let's look at a second example. The second example is we're going to find the probability of selecting both of the marbles to be blue. So that means that I want a blue marble followed by a blue marble. So if we look at the situation, we know that we have a total of six blue marbles out of 20. So the first probability is six out of 20. Well, now we're not replacing it. So we're using the second rule. So this time we're going to use the dependent events rule where we use the probability of A times the probability of B given that A has already occurred. Okay, so now if we think about this situation, what's happening is we selected a blue on the first one. So I had six of them that were blue, and then I took one out and it was blue. So now I only have five blue ones left in the bag out of a total of 19 marbles left in the bag. So notice that the second one, the probability changes because it's dependent on the first one. Okay, now to simplify, 
Um, there's a couple different ways that you could simplify. You could do 6 times 5 and 20 times 19 and put 30 over 380, which is acceptable. Or you could reduce before multiplying. Um, I can see that the 6 and a 20 both have a 2 in them, so this reduces to 3 over 10. And then I can see that 5 goes into 10 two times. So I could go ahead and reduce that and end up with 3 over 2 times 19, which gives us 38. Okay, so there's a 3 out of 38 chance that both of them are blue when I do not replace. If it would have said with replacement, then we would have had 6 out of 20 times 6 out of 20. So make sure that you pay attention to whether or not you are replacing the marble. Okay, like I said before, if you would like to, you can convert this into a decimal by doing 3 divided by 38, and you get 0 0.0789, and then you could multiply that um, times 100 and get approximately 7.89%. So both of the marbles being blue would occur about 7.89% of the time given the situation that we have. Okay, so you're going to use the same information to answer the two you try questions. So you have five red marbles, six blue marbles, and nine green marbles with a total of 20. Okay, and so then what I want you to try is um, find selecting both marbles green with replacement and then selecting blue and then red without replacement. So once you have tried these two, um, go ahead and resume watching, and I will go over them just to make sure that you got it correct. Okay. All right, now that you have had a chance to try both of these, let's look at finding the probability of both green. So in this case, because we are replacing, because we are replacing the marbles, these would be independent. So the probability of the first does not influence the probability of the second. So the probability of both of them being green, remember that um, there are nine green marbles. So the probability that both of them are green would happen nine out of 20 times. Times, again, I selected a marble, I looked at it, wrote down what color it was, and then I put it back in. So uh, the probability that the second one is green is still 9 out of 20, okay, because these are independent events. So if I simplify, I would get 81 out of 400, and I cannot reduce that because there are no common factors for 9 or 20, okay, so I cannot reduce that, so that would be my answer as a fraction. And then if I simplify this, this would occur about 0 0.2025 or 20.25%. Okay, and then for the last one, we're looking at what is the probability of selecting blue and then red. Okay, so for this one, the probability of selecting blue, remember that with blue we have six of them and we have five red. So the first one being blue would be six out of 20. The second one being red, the first one since it was blue, that means that I did not take out a red one, so I would still have five red ones over 19. And this happens to be the same answer that we got for both of them being blue. So we could simplify this to being 3 out of 38, or 0 0.0789, or 7.89%. So just to recap, remember that if the events are independent, that means that the probability of the second event is not influenced by what happened on the first event, then you just do the probability of A times the probability of B. If the events are dependent, you do the probability of the first times the probability of the second, given that the first already occurred. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.